All right. Ready? All right. Now, everything in my building is set up according to my guidelines of training. The dog has to be able to be handled with no struggle by the youngest, oldest, weakest, most limited member of whoever. There's no bribery. There is motivation now and then. Kind of like a kid, you carry money, but you don't necessarily share it. But not holding it in front of the dog's face. Um, everything in here is safe. There's a lot of stuff on top here that allows me to have control without struggle. Some of the stuff you can simulate at home, some of the stuff you need a training building for, but nonetheless, you can adapt. Now, when Petey was a baby, eight weeks old, she came here for some training. She was here for two months, and she did great. She is owned by a lovely woman who wanted nothing but the best for this dog. And bless her heart for that. And the, and the only reason Petey's successful is because she is such a responsible dog owner. Not a good trainer. She was so worried about making mistakes that she was making Petey worried about making them. Petey was getting pretty neurotic. And she was becoming one of those Airedales. So Joan knew something wasn't right. And the dog came back. Because she decided that even though she couldn't achieve it, she knew that it could be achieved. And for that reason, we now are making the transition into Petey going home and stepping up as a really good dog. She's had a week, almost a week, and Petey's doing excellent. It's not the dog that doesn't know it, and it's not the woman who doesn't have good intentions. But her lifestyle and our lifestyle here with this dog are way two different things. This, this dog had a problem with pressure. So when you spend too much time watching the dog to make sure she's right, that's pressure. That's way too, way too tough. So when Petey's here, there's no pressure. And now you get a calm dog because of it. So freedom is not a dog's friend. Freedom just sets them up to get in trouble. Just like kids. Too much freedom, too many decisions. This dog does much better in jail now and then. Little doses. So Petey's been home for almost a week. Everything's going fine. They've had some wonderful outings. But she's come back now for a few days. So Joan can have a break from being pack leader. And Petey can have a break from trying to do everything right. For that reason, we have a beautiful creation here. Now... One of the things that's really, really, I, I love, I mean, this was one of my brainstorms a couple years ago. This cable. It's a cable like you'd have out between two trees. It's got a pulley in the center. If you have beams in your ceiling, you can actually throw a line up over the beam, and you can work somewhat like this in, your, in a big living room. Not in my living room, but in some living rooms. Okay. Hey, Petey. Come on. Come here, Pete. Wait. Hands free. Good wait. Good job. Hi, Pete. Good. Come on. Wait. Look at how cute you are, Petey. Sit. Oh, what a good girl. Now, the beauty of this is she can't go, D-O-W-N, can she? You wait. 
Good. Wait. This goes right along with my rule about you either call them or you touch them. So now your hand signals become much more effective. Because I have food in my pocket, she's hopeful. Good. Easy. Come on, babe. You wait. Oh, now I can answer the door. Guess who's not? Good wait. Easy. Come on, babe. Come on. Good girl. Look at how cute you are. Come on. Good girl. Wait. Petey, sit. Sit. Good. You wait. This is the way all of us need to work our dogs. If you have a basement, if you have a garage, put a line up. Or uh, at least a hook or throw it over a raft or something. Good wait. Easy. What a good girl you are. This is the relaxed relationship. Okay, your turn. <laughs>